What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Once again, it's Sean Taylor, and I'm going over five things you can learn from top artist campaigns of 2016. I'm going to run through them really quickly, but it's going to be some impactful information. We already know that look, Beyonce came out with the lemonade thing with the picture before the Super Bowl, hit him with formation, and then later she dropped the project and she created a moment, right? So create a moment if you can, and a great way to do that is strong images, because once you have people's attention, you need to keep it. Beyonce used strong images to create a world very similar to how Michael Jackson, who's a huge inspiration to how she presents herself, does all the time. So do that if you can. And then number two, we're going to go with Ray Shrimmons. These guys, they used a wave in one of the most skillful ways I haven't seen in a good minute. Got ahead of myself. All right, if you don't know the mannequin count challenge, kill yourself if you will. These guys right here, man, they were didn't even create this wave, and they didn't even intentionally steal the wave, but then they saw how other people were putting them on and using them for the wave, and then they just used it and to go all the way to number one. Hey, you got to use opportunity. Be opportunistic. Number three, we're going to go with Chance the Rapper, his whole coloring book, mixtape, the whole tour, all that stuff took a lot of people's attention this year. It's because he engaged the hell out of his audience, though. That's what made it go to another level, right? He has a literal coloring book that people could feel, right? Touch. It's a tactile experience. Not only do they have the auditory experience of listening to music, but they have this thing they can touch. It's novel. Most people don't color these days, particularly the age of his fans. So it's something cool to go back and do. Engage the audience because that helps them feel closer to you and something they can take beyond your music. And then he also engages in the streets with guerrilla type marketing in a way that most artists at his level of success don't do. But this is so strong because when you see something on the streets and then you go online and then you see marketing from Chance the Rapper on the Coloring Book Tour, then you're even more likely to check it out and get deeper into it because you want to you, you are connecting these dots when you can get people to connecting dots in their head about things they've seen, then they really, really get bought in. Parody and humor. So, your Lil Yachty is huge with this. A lot of people laugh at him, but trust me, he's so into the joke. He's so deliberate with what he's doing. A lot of, part of that comes from the fact that he was inspired by Lil B. I made the video on him. Check him out, just like I made the video on Chance. Um, check him out. But, it's that whole idea of entertaining. That's what social media is known for these days. It's the things that you see, go viral a lot of things we follow as young folks especially man it's they're funny they're it's comedy people love that stuff so he uses that stuff and he doesn't mind being the better to joke then he also branded his hair like a mug to the point you can see a picture like this and you know it's little yachty that's strong ass branding next we have dj Khaled, right so we have dj Khaled, and this guy's been making anthem as the anthem at the anthem been strong uh, you know brand in the hip-hop community for years but he was finally crossed over for the first time because he showed himself a lot of times we have this great um product in our marketing in our uh, music that people love or our art but we have a unique personality that could put it make us a superstar and he was able to cross over for the first time ever because he showed himself on snapchat and he didn't even do this intentionally at first and just to note, though, what made him really, really cross over was this whole keys to success concept. He had something that gave him room to grow. The keys to success, you obviously can relate that to anything. So if you have something that's just easy to talk about, no matter what you want to relate to it and brand, then you are really, really sitting on gold. If you can do it, make it happen. Those are just some tips to use from the top campaigns of this year. Hopefully that was helpful. If you can think of anything else, add it to the comments. Let's talk. Be cool.